Hey guys, so right now I'm going to go over practice page 4-1, um, so just follow along. Okay, so starting at the top, it says for exercise 1 and 2, name the vector and write its component form. So the vector here is vector CD, and then component form is just talking about the direction. So we do the horizontal change and then vertical change, so from... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units this way, so that would be plus 7 to the right, and down 3, so that's minus 3, so that would be 7, negative 3. And then for the next one, same process, vector st, and then it's horizontal change, so it's going this way, so that would be a negative 2 since it's going to the left, and down 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4. So negative 2, negative 4, like that. Okay, and then for the next example, um, we're doing translation, so we're going to be sliding the shape. Our first shape is triangle DEF. It has its coordinates, and it says to translate it based on the given vector. Now, with these graphs, actually none <laughs> of the translations fit on these little graphs. Um, I did it earlier, and like you see, the shape literally graphs off the graph. So to make this a little bit easier and more clear, I'm going to use graph paper to do these, and I've also left some graph paper with the sub, so if you'd like to do it on graph paper to save yourself the frustration, um, you can do it on graph paper. So for number three, I'm just going to be making a pretty large graph, and I'm going to use this graph for all of my... the next, like, three or four questions, I'm going to use the same graph. So graphing this original shape, DEF, at 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. E is at 6, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2. And then F is at 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that's our original, that's our pre-image. Now we're going to graph the translations. Um, the first one, it says six zero, so that means to the right six. So each point, I'm gonna to move to the right six units. So this will be D prime. E prime and F prime. And there is our translation there. So I'm going to label that number three and just put a three inside. Now for the next one, we're taking the same shape and we're just translating it a different way. So here it's saying five, negative one. So that means it's going to go to the right, five, and then down one. So I might use a different color or whatnot, but to the right, five, down one. One, two, three, four, five, down one. Down one, so E prime right here. One, two, three, four, five, down one. F prime. Okay, and then this will be number four. Okay, number five, it gives us the vector negative three, negative seven. So now from the original, our pre image, we're going to the left, three, down seven. Again, using the same graph. I don't need to draw it again. Left three down one, two, three, four, five, seven. So here is D prime. And F prime. Okay, so then this would be number five. And then number six, it is negative two, negative four. So it's going to go to left two, down four. And here's the triangle here. So this would be number six. 
Okay, so there is three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to move down to number seven. And then for this piece of paper, if you did it on graph paper, just staple this to the back of the packet um, when you turn it in. So for number seven, it says, find the component form of the vector that translates point P to P prime. So the original point, point P, is at negative three, six, and then it goes to this point. It looks from negative three to zero, that's positive three. And then from six to one, that is negative five. And then for eight, same process, we have our original at negative three, six. And if you put it right on top of each other, you can easily see the change. Going from negative three to negative four, that would be negative one. And then from six to eight, positive two. Okay, and for nine and 10, it says that there is a translation. We need to find the rule. So remember, it's going from m to m prime, and we have to do horizontal change and then vertical change. So I'm just going to choose one point, and I'm gonna choose M, but it could be any of the points. And then the horizontal change here, it's going one, two, three, four, five units. So negative five, and then it's going up two. So that'd be a positive two. So in terms of the rule, the format would be X, Y is X minus five, Y plus two. And that's how the rule would be written. Okay, number 10. Again, just choose one point. I might choose the M's, but you could choose the L's and the L or the N and the N. And it's horizontal change and then vertical change. So horizontal change looks like it's plus three and then it's going up one. So in terms of the rule, I would write X, Y is X plus three, Y plus one. And that's my answer for that. So then just turn the page. We're going to go to the back now. Looking at the top and what kind of questions we have there. It says, use this translation. So here's our rule. What is the image of A to six? So we're gonna take this and actually plug it into the rule here. So it become two minus eight and six plus four. So that'd be negative six, 10. So A prime is negative six, 10, and that is our answer. And then for number 12, what is the image of B negative one, five? Again, just plugging it into the rule. And B prime, B negative nine, nine. And that's it. Now, this one, it gets a little bit more challenging. It says, what is the pre-image of C prime? So I'm still going to set it up in the same format. Okay, C prime is negative 3, negative 10. Our rule is x minus 8, y plus 4. And I need to find out what the original was. And same over here, same type of problem. It's d prime is 4, negative 3. The rule is x minus eight, y plus four, and then I need to find the original. Okay, so what I would do, or what I would assume is the easiest thing to do, is put this equal to negative three and solve it backwards. So I'm gonna do x minus eight equals negative three and solve for x. And I get x equals five, and then same here, y plus four equals negative 10. You get y equals negative 14. So that is the original point. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. x minus eight equals four. x equals 12. And y plus four equals negative three y equals negative seven. And then this is the original. Okay, now for the next ones. Again, these shapes do not even fit on the graphs that they gave us. So I'm going to go back to the graph paper. And we have the one that we did earlier. I'm just gonna fold this page, do it on the same page, but below that. Okay, so for 15,
it's going to be 15. We're going to do them all in the same graph. So it's going to be 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm going to draw a big coordinate plane so I have all the space I could possibly need. Okay, so we're working with quadrilateral and it gives us these vertices and then we do the translations. So we're starting with the original. I'm just gonna plot the, these points. Have P, Q, R, and S. Okay, so here's our original quadrilateral. And now we have to translate this based on the rules. So I'm gonna just take one at a time. Here it's saying x plus four, y plus six. So each point, I'm gonna move it over four and up six. This becomes P prime. Q prime. Okay, so this is number 15. Number 16, we're still working with the same original shape, they just have a new rule here. So this one is plus nine minus two. So I'm gonna move this over nine, one, two. And down two, so P prime's over here now. Okay, and here is our next shape. And this is number 16. Okay, moving down to 17, my rule is x minus two, y minus five. So again, just working from the original, x minus two would be over left two, down five. And again, for our left two, down five, one, two, our prime. Okay, this is number 17. And then 18. Again, same original shape. I'm going to go to the left one now and up three. And there we go. And this would be number 18. Okay, so there is 15, 16, 17, 18. And again, you'll have to attach this to your packet and turn it in with it. Okay, so 19, 20, down here is error analysis. It says describe the correct letter in, describe and correct the error in graphing the image of quadrilateral EFGH after the translation. Okay, so the translation is minus one, minus two, so it should be going to the left one, down two, and it looks like instead it's going to the right one, up two, so it's like backwards. So the error is it should be translated left one, down two. And then for the one over here, number 20, minus three plus two, so it should go to the left three up two, and that is not what's happening at all. So it should go left three down, sorry, up two. 
left three up two, and that's not happening either. Okay, so that's all for practice 4-1. Um, I will be recording another video for 4-2, so I will link that down below, or you can find the link on Schoology for the second video.